that we are sponsoring. And we also want to say thanks to the staff for our job well done. So thank you too for coming to share with us this day. And continue to pray that God will bless you. Established. 2000, but we actually turned it into today's women in 2001. But it started as a birthday club. Mm -hmm. And then in 2001, we said instead of doing birthday club, we should do something to empower ourselves and also to help um, the unfortunate. So we decided, we, we got together, had a meeting, and decided to turn it into organization. And we had a vote, we all voted upon the name Today's Women. And I was the first vice president for the Today's Women Club. And the president then, she's now no more a member of Today's Women Club. But she started it, her name was, oh, her name is Helena Weeks. Okay. And then after we started the club, then we started encouraging friends to come and join. So we, uh, our president John. And then other, right now we are about 40, 48 members in the states. Mm -hmm. um, is Canada the only school that you have students? No. In Liberia, in Liberia Canada yes. is the only school that we have children. But as we endeavor to empower our children, our youth, in education, we would like to add more students in the future in other missions and probably Canada Academy. But we also have students on scholarship in Jamaica. We have three students on scholarship in Jamaica. Two girls and a boy. Um, I also want to know, was this um, organization established in Liberia or outside Liberia? It was, it was established, established in, in the USA. USA. Oh, okay. And when, they, when our group came here in 2008, that, is, that was when two Liberia was established. Don't well, you have the name today's women? Is it going to open to women? Yes, it is going to open to women 21 years old and above. Yeah. I mean, no men can be part of your, your organization. Well, we are thinking about starting a tomorrow's men. <laughs> because our spouses sometimes assist us. Because sometimes women cannot do everything. But we have our fundraisers. We need the manpower. We have to carry our dreams. And other things, so we get men. So in the future, we may add a tomorrow men. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, the Chinese have a saying. Uh, it goes like this: um, Great fires are started with uh, weak straws, very weak straws. <laughs> so I'm not surprised that you've gone thus far. A feather to your hands. Well. I always say, women can do great things. Mm -hmm. Women who are the first one that saw Jesus. Mm -hmm. And when he arose, Mary Magdalene was the first one, a woman again. So women has always been the first in everything. If you go in the churches, there are always more women than men. Mm -hmm. So we can move the world. And presently, women have been empowered. We have many women President around the world, and our own dear Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, she has made history. She's the first woman, and Philippians, I believe, had a woman president also. So we look to have many more women president because we can do great, great things. And our organization name is Today's Women because the 18th century women were noted for having babies and taking care of the home. But now, 
women are being empowered. We have become president, engineers, doctors, everything a man can do. So that's why we call our organization today's woman. Because we are the two, the, the 20th century women. All right. Now, you want to know how a uh, student from the KZI can bring to the institution for scholarship? I would like to know how you find this kid. Well, in 2008, unfortunately, I was not part of the group, but the president then that came, the group decided in the USA that we needed to get some students and put them on scholarship and we'll look for the needed, the less fortunate children. Children that was abandoned. Children who their mother could not afford to send them to school. And that's how I was selected. So the, the group here to Liberia get the selection for us. to go further by doing proposals to write for grants. So that's our goal for this year. Well, I would think the members pay due. We do pay dues. We pay twenty dollars every month for our membership dues. And if somebody wants to join today's women in, in the USA, I don't know how the Liberia chapter does their membership drive. But if, if you want to join today's women in the USA, you pay $25 for your application fee mm -hmm. and your first month due, which is $20. So the total will be $25. Mm -hmm. And we have rules and regulations. We have our constitution. If um, you miss more than four meetings, we'll write you a letter stating that you have missed so and so amount of meetings. You, um, and if you miss another meeting, you will be terminated from the organization. Mm -hmm. And when you join the organization, you don't um, get benefits until after six months. You are not entitled to any benefits. So we have um, benefits for your immediate family. For example, if your spouse, God forbid, your, your kids or mother or father pass away, we have a package that we give to members in the United States. Yes, I would like to do For the Lapeon chapter, we pay to also $5 US for registration to get your phone, your T-shirt. After that, you will get your book. When you pay your due and debt, will be registered. And join right on, a, on benefits. You got phone, you feel you after your registration.